Yoke way out the right side. Here's Godoy. He's got Rome. Decides to take the shot. And Lampson does well to get down and not give up the rebound. I'm Matt Lampson, goalkeeper in Major League Soccer and founder of the Lampstrong Foundation. At the age of 17, I was diagnosed with cancer. With the help of my doctors, my family, and my community, I was able to beat cancer and go on to live my dream of playing professional soccer. That's my story. Now I want to hear yours. I was a senior in high school, uh, and at the time I went to, to donate blood because uh, you could get out of school and you could get free cookies. So who wouldn't want to do that? So I went to donate blood and they actually turned me down because uh, my hemoglobin was too low. I went home, told my parents, and they said, that's weird, we, we probably should get tested, uh, get some blood work done. So at 17 years old, I was, I was diagnosed with uh, stage 4B Hodgkin's lymphoma and I had six rounds of chemotherapy and 12 rounds of uh, radiation treatment. So after that, I was, I was cancer free and here I am today. The biggest misconception about cancer patients is you've got to treat them like they're on a pedestal. Regardless of the fact that they have cancer, you can still treat them like they're a normal person because that's what they crave, that's what we crave. When you're going through treatment, chemotherapy kills you to save your life. It, it brings you on the brink of death just to bring you back. You know, you can't just snap your fingers and be back to normal. So the amount of dedication and, and persistence uh, and patience that it took for my body to recover, to continue to get better, you have to always hold on to what you want to achieve, uh, whether that's just going back and being able to swim laps again or play on your high school basketball team. It doesn't matter, but if that's what your goal is, that's what you need to cling on to. Having finished treatment, I was 280 pounds. My body had just been beaten down, and at the same time, I needed to get back into shape to, to continue to do what I love, and that was play soccer. But I definitely had to make some changes based on how I could get back in shape. I focused a lot on weight training and uh, interval fitness because that's the only thing my body could do. But after my freshman year at college, uh, playing at Ohio State, I was training with the Columbus Crew first team during the summer. And then every single home and away game, I would host a cancer patient so we, we can talk about our, our shared experiences and they can look at what I've accomplished after cancer treatment and whatever they want to achieve, there's a perfect representation of it. I'm incredibly grateful for being able to, to hear their stories and help them share their stories so that more people can be inspired by who they are. This week I'm meeting with 12-year-old Britt. She's gonna walk me through what it's like to find out that a recurring soccer injury is really much more than it seems. This girl's an absolute spitfire. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. You better win, or I'm not showing up to any more games. <laughs>